Happy New Year, board game brothers and sisters. I'm Adam Singer, and welcome to the first episode of 2023, where I'll be letting you know of all the board games launching each week. This week is a pretty slow one, just like we had in December. The games haven't quite picked up yet, but I do have a bit of news and announcements of games that are going to be launching in 2023 that I think you might be excited about. And the first bit of news is that Command did announce another addition to be added to their Marvel United franchise, and this one is going to be for Marvel United Multiverse. They didn't give too much info on a release date, but they normally launch these within a couple months of them announcing it so if I were to take a guess I would expect that this one will launch near the end of January or possibly at the start of February so if you're a fan of Marvel United and want to start including all the different realities and galactic villains this is going to allow you to include those into your games and if I were to take a guess I would expect that this is going to be offering a standalone version of the game as well and the next big announcement is that Into the Unknown just announced that they're going to be launching their standalone sequel to the game Aeon Trespass past odyssey which many of you might be getting in the mail just about now i did get mine in the mail and it was just too much game for me so i immediately sold that to someone who will get a lot more use out of it than i would but if you are into games like kingdom death monster i think this is definitely one that you want to check out because it does take inspiration from it and it does continue that genre that kingdom death monster kind of created and since the backers are receiving the first installment of this game i imagine that there'll be a ton of playthroughs and reviews going up within the next month or two. And the next bit of exciting news is that there is going to be a reprint for Clans of Caledonia, and I don't have too much info on what this reprint is actually going to be, but this is going to crowdfunding, so I expect that there will be some deluxification and probably redoing of the artwork and tweaking of the rules, as we see with most reprints of famous games like this one. And the last bit of news here is that I am selling a few of my own games, and I thought I'd mention it here. I live in Canada, and as a buyer of board games, I know how difficult it is to find certain games, especially especially all in pledges when I like a game and I'm trying to get everything for it. So if you're in Canada, I'm happy to ship and this might make finding those games a little bit easier. And if you are outside of Canada, I'm happy to ship outside of Canada as well. And I'll just leave a link to this in the description if you're interested. Most of the games are at or below what I paid, so I'm not really marketing up any of these. And that's all I have for an intro, so let's check out the campaign launching this week. And the only campaign we have launching this week is launching on January 4th, and this one's called Chesney. And this plays 5 to 10 players and takes about 70 to 110 minutes to play. And this is a bluffing and deduction card game where each player is going to have their own character card that's going to be hidden throughout the game, but you can reveal it at any time to use your character's special ability. And the way that this game works is that there's going to be four different non-player controlled factions that are fighting for control over the realm, and players are going to be trying to ally themselves with the dominant faction. Players are going to be receiving two faction cards at the start of the game that they keep in secret, and each of them are going to have a value on them, and the higher value is the faction that you are currently allied with. Players will also be starting the game with a hand of action cards, and on your turn you can play up to two of these, or you can play one and discard the other. You'll always be drawing back up to your hand limit at the end of your turn, so that you always have actions ready to go. Go. But these actions will allow you to do different things like reveal other players' factions, swap faction cards between each other, heal yourself, or attack the opponents. And as soon as it's known by a single player that all players share at least one faction, that's going to trigger the end of the round, and then that faction that's shared amongst all players is the dominant faction. And if players are allied with that faction, then they're going to gain victory points. But an interesting thing here is that all these cards don't have to be revealed in order to trigger the end of the round, because any player on their turn can optionally trigger a judgment, which will allow them to look at each of the player's cards in secret. And if there is a common faction amongst them, then that faction becomes the dominant faction. But if a player does this and there's no dominant faction, then that player loses all their health. And once you've lost all your health, all you can do on your turn is draw a single card and then choose to play it. But if you or another player ended up losing their health through other players inflicting damage on them, that will also trigger a judgment call for that defeated player, which basically forces them to look at all the cards since they're defeated anyway. And then if they witness a common faction, that would trigger the end of the round with that faction being the dominant faction. And the neat thing about this is that if you are allied with the dominant faction and you also trigger the judgment, then you're going to be getting additional victory points. And the player with the most victory points at the end of three rounds wins the game. If you're interested in this one, you can check out links in the description below. And that's it for this week, but I do expect a lot more games to be launching in the coming weeks, so make sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the crowdfunding news. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep that shelf cluttered and the table full. Thank you.